New at 9, video you will only see here on Fox 23 of an accused thief. Police say stole armfuls of guns from a Tulsa warehouse. This scene played out at the up-and-coming Gateway building near First and Admiral. Fox 23's Sarah Whaley is live with the other businesses hit. Sarah. Yeah, this is the warehouse behind me here where those guns were stolen. And just right down here are the uh, Tulsa Tough headquarters. As we go down the street here, you'll see a small retail business. Police say they've all been victimized. Stolen guns caught on video. He walked right out of the building with two parcels under his arms and dropped a gun on the ground. So it's brazen as it could be. Michael Sager owns the Gateway Building near First and Admiral. And over the weekend, he says someone victimized he and his tenants. Buddy, look over your shoulder because here we come. I got this exclusive video from Tulsa police. You see, the suspect backs in, gets out, even snaps pictures of the building, all before making his move. Workers were here at 4.30 in the afternoon, loading some stuff in the building. He snuck around and snuck in a doorway. That's when video shows him stealing the guns. Sager believes the suspect at that point also unlocked an exterior door. And 12 hours later, Sager says the thief returned, ransacking the entire warehouse, including the Tulsa Tough headquarters and a newly opened shop named Post. And to be open just a few days and have somebody, you know, be so selfish as to come in and kind of destroy what we were working towards, you know, it didn't derail us completely, but it was a big hiccup. Co-owner Case Morton says the suspect stole thousands of dollars worth of this expensive and rare jewelry, as well as electronics and clothes. Let me show you the layout of this building, the way it's set up once he had access to one part. He had access to the entire place. And Sager says, to top it off, he stole beer and Red Bull from the Tulsa Tough offices. People around here tell me they do have a lot of concern that somebody with such little disregard for people's stuff would now be in possession of more than a dozen guns. Reporting live here in downtown, covering news that matters, Sarah Whaley, Fox 23 News. Tonight